Yo, what is up guys? It is Ripper and here with a new video for you guys today. And guys, what we're gonna talk about today is something that I kind of been wanting to talk about for a little bit. So as you guys are aware, Call of Duty has been in a pretty weird place recently, I would argue, you know, with multiplayer kind of changing everything. And I guess you could say Warzone kind of slowly updating and then doing little, little touches. And a lot of things just kind of like, in between you could say and with that i'm a little i've been questioning some stuff recently and i'm gonna talk about that today but the main point i want to get across to all of you if you could take anything away from this video is understand if you are a call of duty fan that we are in a place of kind of emergency and here's why because this game has been out for a while obviously call of duty as a company as a I guess you could call franchise has been out for a while and as you guys should know if you're an OG I've been around and playing Call of Duty since MW2 and I grinded the shit out of MW2 grinded the shit out of MW3 and so forth and so far so forth right so the main point here is the fact that Call of Duty has been an out has been out for a very long time and with that can cause some issues all right well first game on this can be a good one but what today what i want to heavy hit today is let's talk about the future of call of duty right so now that we all know that now that we all know and we understand the fact and really the point of obviously call of duty's been around for a super long time well ripper what does that mean and you know why is that important well let's talk about it when we talk about call of duty what do we think about Right now, currently, we think about Warzone, right? And what does that mean for the, other, the entire other part of the game, right? There's multiplayer, there's story mode, there's campaigns, there's single player, all that stuff. There's co-op, right? There's so many things that the Call of Duties have all had other than Warzone. Now, let me make this clear. I'm an advocate for Warzone. I actually love Warzone. It may be annoying, it may trigger me. I love it though, that will never change. But with that, we ought to talk about what's the future and what do we hopefully, I should say, what do we hopefully hope to see? And one of those is multiplayer. Now, as you guys know, multiplayer currently is kind of just left behind. Why? Because Warzone's the money maker. Call of Duty has hit a point in its existence of focusing on the money side. Whether you hate that or really, whether you love it or hate it, that's the fact of the matter. Now, if we as community members and, you know, members of this Call of Duty uh, franchise that we are just the players for it and the, you could say, money givers for Call of Duty, we all need to make something straightforward now. What do we want from people like Triarch, Activision, Ravensoft, all these COD companies that are in charge of making Call of Duties? And the reason I'm not just saying one is because these are all relevant, meaning that these all have a certain level of power and a certain COD. Now, whether that be Warzone or just the multiplayer side as itself, they all have a part. And what we as a community need to talk about is what do we want? And the main thing that I'm going to start with is multiplayer. We want a future for this multiplayer. We want something that we can expect from. We want something that we can continue to play and not get bored. Now, what does that mean? Obviously, that's probably different for other people. But what I want to talk about today and what I want is I want snipers and i want gun balancing as a whole not just snipers but gun balancing as a whole to be looked at i want call of duty to be back in the way in a sense the manner was prior where we didn't just let this community get killed because ar players getting mad at snipers snipers getting getting mad at ars if you look back at old cods at the end of the day we can't change that and if we try to change that too much we're going to cause bigger issues than we expect. So talking about gun balancing, what do I really expect to come out of the future of gun balancing in Call of Duty? And when I'm talking about really fixing this game and saying that gun balancing is what we do it, what, what do I fully mean? Well, let's talk about it. So snipers got obviously heavy hit. Uh, you could say certain ARs kind of just got a heavy buff. 
some SMGs that kind of like I think I said before in a video, I'm not sure, but I did kind of say, it is it on YouTube or Twitch, right? But basically, I basically said that some ARs and SMGs are better than what we all expect them to be. Now, what does that mean for snipers? Oh, well, then that means snipers are going to have to get a hit from it, right? Because we can't have a heavy broken AR, heavy broken SMG, and a heavy broken sniper game because it's not MW2, MW3 anymore. So since it's not MW2 anymore, that also leads to another issue that we're going to face with future CODs that we need to address and we really need to hope that they start looking into. That is map suggestions. What does that mean? Well, as you guys know, on Cold War, Black Ops Cold War, we have a very small map selection to play from. Now, why is that important, Ripper? Well, players who play this game, the biggest complaint we have right now is not enough maps. And the reason is simple. We want to be able to have a variety. When we're stuck playing the same maps over and over and over again, we just get bored. You may be asking yourself, Fripper, what else could they do for the future of Call of Duty to keep it alive, keep it present, keep it, really keep players still wanting to play? I got the answer for you. And what it is, it's very simple. What Call of Duty needs to keep slash put in their game is a better anti-cheat. Don't worry, I'm not going to rant all day about it. I've talked about it enough. But if Call of Duty wants to stay and really be smart, we need competition hard. This means anti-cheat and this means better seasons. The reason I'm talking about these both together is because I like to compare these a lot of times to some old games that I've played or games that also have seasons and do very well. What could I be talking about? You may hate me for saying this, but Fortnite. Now, before you all get mad at me for saying, Ripper, did you just compare Call of Duty to Fortnite? Yes, I did. Now, here's why. Before you guys want to rip my guts out and yell at me, let me just explain. Now, the main reason why I'm going to compare these two to really these two things to Fortnite, and again, love it or hate it, it's very much true. What's well, one thing Fortnite has done either very well or utterly failed on that is seasons they have been able to find content that people want they've been able to find new things new skins new worlds new maps keyword maps why do they do so well well because they are very good with listening to the community they also have one of the best anti-cheats arguably in battle royale games and with that, Call of Duty should probably start listening. And if they want a chance to have a future, I believe, if they want a future to stay around, bigger and even better than where they are currently, they need to look at what Epic Games is doing with their games, with their seasons. They're so fucking smart. Whether you love or hate that game, guys, let me make this clear. I fucking despise Fortnite. I do. I, it, I'm not calling it a bad game too when it comes to like, it's a dead game. No, it's a fucking highly live game. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm not a fan of it. But I also understand when something is successful versus struggling and Call of Duty isn't exactly on the successful scale. I'm sorry, but it's not. But due to that, right? Again, I'm not gonna rant about it too much. We have the anti-cheat. We have the new season upgrades that they could do. We have the new maps in general. We also have overall quality now. Well, then you're gonna ask Ripper, why does overall quality have a, a impact on the future? And lastly, the main point I wanna talk about now that we've got, I would say arguably the main essentials talked about and really dealt with. Let's talk about the last thing that we as really the community now can do to try to help this game. Hold up. Oh, so close. But the last thing that we can do as a community and what I really hope to see for the future of COD is a lot more community feedback. And what I mean is when we as a community say, hey, yo, we have this issue. We need it fixed like sooner than later. 
And you may be asking, why do I think that's important? Well, look at Warzone. Recently, Warzone has had these issues for a while where glitches, nerfs needing to be done now and sooner than later, guns ruining the games, glitches, uh, cheaters, all these things in an overall whole we have so much going on and such delay but to close off today's video guys i just want to say with the future of call of duty there's a lot that we're looking for there's a lot of standards we're looking for do i think it's all gonna happen no obviously that's not how this game works that's not how it's ever worked and it's going to take time I would argue we need patience, but it's been a lot of patience right now already, and who knows at this point, really, is it enough kind of deal. So what I'm going to say is, Call of Duty, if you want to make a new game, obviously you are, you want the money, I get it. Let's look at everything. Instead of just focusing only on Warzone, give it 50-50. Give us 50% multiplayer, 50% Warzone, and make it fair. Let's not make it 80-20, where it's basically how it's always been, 80% Warzone, 20% multiplayer, and we're barely going to give you anything for multiplayer. Let's make it fair. Let's, as a community, be back together. Let's make multiplayer as good as it was. Let's make it better than it was, right? Because that's what we want. And I don't know about you guys, but I really have a lot of high expectations. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like comment down below your thoughts on exactly everything i talked about what do you want for future call of duties put in the comments down below i'm definitely down to read those and check those out all right guys but on that note again be sure to subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification if you guys enjoy this kind of content also guys we are literally four levels away from unlocking the new reactive camo so awesome we're very close no i'm not buying it i'm actually earning it like i said a while ago so definitely expect a video on this gun soon and if you guys enjoy it i'll see you on there all right guys if you guys want it check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash x ripper stream four to five days a week and that's another way to support me all right guys i love you all i'll see you guys in the next one peace